Hi, is your life a mess right now? No? Good for you. Mine is a tragedy. It's not going so great as of late. Um, things just seem to be a mess and I've wallowed and I've given myself all the pity and I feel like now it's time to start sorting my life out because seriously, it's just not, it's not great at the moment. In so many ways, I mean, I haven't exercised in like a month. I haven't been looking after myself. The place is a mess because no one's coming to visit. What's the point in cleaning? No one's going to see me because I've got a mask on. What's the point in preening? Like what? Preening, cleaning, that rhymed. I'm a genius. I'm already kind of a lazy person. I feel like the whole quarantine type situation made me extremely lazy and I feel like now is time to stop. So we're gonna try and make a change. So I'm thinking, big old self-care day today. We're gonna look after me, make me feel better. So some things on the list to get done. I'm thinking face mask, a little bit of skincare, hair mask, um, have a bath, laser hair removal, a little bit of fake tan, probably sort my nails out. I look like this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some hair food banana on my hair and leave this in while I put a face mask on and then while both are on and setting I'm gonna do a little bit of laser hair removal and yes. You don't even understand how good this smells. It is just, oh, it is just something else. So I'm quite literally gonna just coat my hair. We're just gonna go for this. Oh yeah. Mmm, should have brushed my hair first. That would have been a great idea, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Lovely. That was nicely done, if I do say so myself. I look so attractive. This is like the worst. I don't ever want to upload this to the internet. I am not feeling good right now. I'm gonna put this little face mask on. I mean, this has gone extremely well. It looks a teeny little bit like uh, I've just not matched my foundation very well. <laughs> it's quite close in colour to my skin, isn't it? Oh, I got it all in the eyebrow. Oh well. Come with me. I'm really digging this look. I look, I just feel great. Um, no, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> so while this is all sitting in and I look great, um, I'm gonna go ahead and laser my legs. So this is my at-home IPL machine. So to keep it very brief, it looks a little bit like a pew 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 laser gun. Um, it has a laser here. When you click this button, when it's turned on, um, it shoots a little laser light that laser um targets the hairs on your legs or your armpits or wherever and then basically burns them and shocks the follicles so they don't really grow back that's the situation basically when you first get it you do it once every two weeks um for like 12 weeks i think and then you do it once every eight weeks i didn't stick to a precise schedule because I'm lazy <laughs> so I kind of did it and then waited two weeks and then maybe did it another three weeks later and then maybe two weeks later and then maybe a month later and I just did it here there and everywhere it was worked it's worked it's great um my hair grows so sparse now and I just don't really shave unless I'm gonna do another session because you are meant to shave your legs before you use this um and I don't really shave my legs it's amazing same with my armpits, it's a lifesaver. What I will say is, if you stop doing it so regularly, like every, I think it's every eight weeks, I think you're meant to do it every eight weeks, if you stop doing it so regularly, which I did, um, my hair has started to grow back in certain places, but still nowhere near as thick a growth as it was before I did this. So to use it, you basically turn it on, um, you put it to the skin that you want to zap, uh, you click search and it goes along these little lights one to five and basically that's the differentiation between your skin color and your hair color so this actually works best if you've got light skin and dark hair which i do my hair on my legs is basically black and the bigger the contrast between the skin and hair color the higher the number will show and then you click yes i'm happy with that number or you can select the number yourself and then you go pew, 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 and it zaps and it's definitely not painful it's kind of like a little flick on your leg until it starts getting hotter, in which case I just stop using it and let it cool down and wait a little while. Um, 
but I know that if you go and get it professionally done, they have like professional fans and coolers and everything. This one can get warm after I've done like maybe half my leg. So I'll kind of do it in sessions. I'll do like half my leg, wait till it's cooled down a little bit, do another half my leg, wait till it's cooled down, etc. So turn it on, a little fan comes on, bush, put it on the leg, search for my color. This is a great, this is just brilliant. I'm so happy I'm doing this. And then click tick. Oh, so I will just go here and I'll go pow. And then move a little bit along, pow. Move a little bit along, pow. That's how that works. I'm gonna sit here, uh, laser my legs, laser my armpits, and then I'm gonna wash my face off and we're gonna jump in the bath. This is a whole day for Jasmine. Little bit of Redox in the bath for the bubbles. These are the products I use for my hair. A lot of people ask about my hair care. So these are my general go-to shampoo and conditioners, but I will sometimes use head and shoulders. I just grab the closest one. Sometimes it's two and one. Sometimes it's a moisture one. I don't really care, but I do get a dry scalp. So sometimes I will use these. And then this Tresemme conditioner I have been using on my hair since I was like 12, I swear. I've used it for absolute years. Um, and I'll just use this here and there whenever I fancy. Some hairdressers do say to stay away from Tresemme. I don't understand why, because to me, this really helps my hair, but hey ho, each to their own. Look at the state of the place. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. I'll tell you what it's made up of. This I bought from Primark. I wanted to film a little Primark haul. Haven't done it yet. Just sat there in bags, doing nothing. Um, dirty washing in the middle of the room. Um, this is my extended wardrobe because currently Nick and I are sharing a wardrobe and I don't have enough space. So there's just clothes down here. They could definitely probably fit into the wardrobe slash my chest of drawers, but they're just down here. These piles are from filming that just, they're just there. It's just a mess. The whole place is just, it's just a mess. It's just an absolute state and I'm just living it. So I am gonna clean this and I'm gonna put a movie on to listen to while I do so and yeah, what fun, what a fun day. So in the first drawer I have my loungewear and then a few pairs of shorts. Then I have all of my sports stuff. So these are all sports bras. These are shorts, these are leggings, uh, and then I've got a couple of jumpers and tops and then all of the sort of exercise stuff. So workout bands, sliders, goggles, things like that. Then this drawer is basically half filming tops, half round the house tops, plain tops, crop tops, denim jeans, and a belt. They all look so neat. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Hi, welcome to my uh, fake tanning space. This is our ensuite. This is where I fake tan. So on the window ledge here, I have a mirror so I can see myself. I have my computer here. I'm just starting new girl. So I'm gonna have that on while I fake tan. I have a pair of uh, NYX old shorts. Uh, nice oversized baggy shorts to sleep in and then a nice baggy t-shirt super super thin lightweight and just Nice and baggy lovely. This is the fake tan that I use. It is Bondi Sands foam in Dark and I do two layers So I will put one layer on wait half an hour put another layer on wait about 10 minutes and then jump into bed wait till the morning Always apply my fake tan with a little tanning mitt. This one is from Saint Tropez. I love these tanning mitts. This is so soft and makes the application so smooth. And then there's no patchiness and it's just really, really lovely. So I have this. I'm not 100% sure what type of brush this is. It's a makeup brush covered in fake tan, as you can see. Um, and I use this just to buff out kind of my knuckles. Um, I'll buff out around my wrist, down the side of my hands, etc. So these are my two little tools along with my fake tan and yeah. Good morning. As you can see, I am now tan and I'm just about to do my fake nails. Yes, I wear this mask to do my fake nails because it's a lot of filing and a lot of chemicals and I just don't want them in my lungs. So I've got my little mask on. I'm about to apply my fake nails. I have actually filmed this for a video before. 
So I'm not going to show you what I'm doing. I am basically just sticking on fake nails. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I want to point out a couple of things. One, my skin does not love me at the moment. Like I said, my life's been a bit of a mess. A lot of stress has happened, a lot of hormones have happened, and a lot of chocolate has happened. So my face, my skin is not looking how it normally does. I'm going through like a bad patch. Ignore that. Second thing, my tan is in this region. Um, I used to tan my whole face, but then I decided I didn't really want to put the tan in my eyes, my lips, my nose, and my cheeks. So I now just do this section so that when I put my makeup on, it still blends into my neck. Um, but I don't tend to do this whole area. So if you think that looks a bit weird, it does. Another thing to mention, I am not in any way, shape or form a makeup guru, a beauty guru, someone who does makeup all the time for fun. I just have my general makeup routine. I thought I would just very, very briefly go over it with you. Um, I am going to link all of the products down below along with everything that I've shown in this video, like my tan, my bath products, my makeup, just everything will be down below. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just very quickly go over it because my makeup routine is something people ask to see, but I never want to put out a full makeup routine video because it's just, it's not my thing. So we're just gonna do my makeup. But the first thing I'm gonna do is put tape in my eyes. This is, most people, like 99% of people won't require this, but this eye, if you cannot tell, is slightly more hooded than this eye. Um, and so this, if I just put tape there, it sort of corrects the problem, not completely, but just a teeny bit. So this is um, eye tape. So this is the tape. And basically, I, I'm gonna need to go to a mirror one second. I put it in there, and then when I lift up my eye, it sticks it into place. They're a little bit more similar now. Again, your eyes, your brows, both sides of your face, everything, they're all sisters, not twins. Um, but I do like them to look a little bit more similar than they are. Next thing I'm gonna do is eyebrows. This is a Max Factor brow contouring kit. It is so old. Um, this whole thing just fell out as well. But I basically use a little Benefit brow brush and just fill in my brows. I mean, they're kind of bushy as they are. So there's not much that needs doing, to be fair. Um, and I am quite far away from the mirror, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Little bit of Estee Lauder concealer. I just put this on my eyes as a little bit of a base before I do my eyeshadow. The sun is coming out and it's making me very, very happy, but also making it a lot harder for me to see what the heck I'm doing. Whatever you can get your hands on will do. For eyeshadow recently, I've been using the Urban Decay Naked uh, Petite Heat Palette. It's little, it's warm, matte colors. It's brilliant for me. So I am just gonna go in my crease. I basically just go along my crease um, and blend out. I'm pretty sure that's what you're meant to do. Could be completely wrong. And then I go a little bit darker in color and do the same thing, but don't blend it as far and then go even darker in color still. Basically, I'll just blend all of these into my crease and then use this one for my eyelid. So, in my makeup bag, I have all of these mascaras. This one is a waterproof one, so I wore that last weekend when I went in the pool. Um, these two are from Wet n Wild, they go together. You basically prime your lashes with this one, put lash fiber on to like thicken and lengthen, and then put mascara on. So, it's a three-step process with these two. This one is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, everyone loves this mascara. It is very, very good. I just got a little one to try it. I do need to re-buy it. Um, I also got this MAC one. I think I potentially got this um, in a PR package. It is very, very good. I like it a lot. And then this one is possibly the only mascara that has stuck with me for years and years and years. Um, this is the Rimmel Extra Super Lash and I get it in a brown for my bottom lashes because I don't like my bottom lashes to be crazy. And sometimes when I use other mascaras on my bottom lashes, they just go pow and it's like, whoa, that's too, it's too much. So I like to use this one, it's in a brown, it goes on quite lightly. You can obviously layer your top lashes if you want them thicker, but for my bottom lashes, I just stick to this. So I think today I'll keep it simple and just go with the MAC. Mascara, little rose gold lash curlers from Tweezer Man. Lovely jubbly. Does anyone else who's right handed use their left hand to do their left eye's mascara? Because I cannot do my mascara on my left eye with my right hand. That doesn't make any sense to me. Mascara is done. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye and then we'll do my makeup. Onto foundation and concealer. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is just my like 
it's just my favorite thing. I refuse to go away from it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the only thing that has not changed in my makeup since 2012. Like, I, I feel like I never ever went away from it. This is my foundation and just, I can't choose another one. So as you can see, I have two. I have one for when I'm not tanned, one for when I am tanned, and then sometimes I'll mix the two when I'm between tanning and it's kind of fading. Um, I use 1W1 Bone 2W1.5 Natural Suede. This is actually quite an interesting little concealer. It has on one side a Hydra Prep. So you put this under your eyes and it's kind of like a serum-y feeling moisturizing gel and it just makes sure that your under eyes aren't dry and therefore when you put on the concealer it doesn't clump in the creases quite so much. I personally really really struggle with my under eye creases so nothing tends to work but I feel like this helps a little bit. It comes out like this and you just put a little bit under your eyes and then I'll just rub that in while I do the rest of my base. You can definitely apply a lighter layer and you can definitely build it I go somewhere in between because I do have super rosy cheeks, so I need a little bit of coverage to cover those. But I wouldn't say I go super heavy. I feel like you can tell I haven't used too much and it's doing a very, very good job. I also need to make sure I go into my hairline because I have a fake tan. Then I'll just go in with my concealer and do a little bit here, a little bit here. A little bit of setting powder. I switch between um, Estee Lauder and Rimmel Stay Matte, just depending on, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know. I switch between the two, but I have the both. Um, and we're just gonna use a little bit of Estee Lauder today. Lighting in here is making it quite hard for you to see anything at all really, isn't it? So it's at this point that I do my bottom lashes because I have now done my concealer. Quick little brush through the brows to get any powder off to make them a little darker. YSL lipstick, this is just, I love the packaging of this lipstick. I love the feel of this lipstick. I love the color. It's amazing. It's in the shade eight. I will be sure to link it down below because I don't actually know what the name of it is, but it's shade eight, so we're going with that. Then a teeny little bit of the Bare Minerals bronzer. Not great at the bronzer situation. I kind of just shove it on my face where I think it goes. And then to finish off a little bit of Bare Minerals highlighter, this is in free. And I'm just gonna do a teeny little bit on my cheeks, a little bit up here, a little bit on my brow bone, a little bit on my nose. Okay, so that is my 24 hour glow up. I'm sure other people have glown up further than me. However, I feel a lot better already. There's still a lot for me to do. There's still a lot of sorting, cleaning, organizing bits and bobs but i feel a little bit better in my skin i feel a little bit more happy my hair smells nice i feel nice and glowy because i'm tanned comfy jammies i realized i could have gone all out and put on a nice outfit but who am i kidding i'm not really doing too much today so i just feel like i've made myself feel a little bit better my office is now completely tidy the bedroom is clean the bed is made it, i just feel a little bit more clearer in the head i'm gonna go off now do a little bit of replying to some tax people <laughs> i hope you did enjoy my little self-care day and yeah i'm gonna leave you here and i'll see you soon Bye.